Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with another subscriber request. So I'm going to quickly read it out to you guys to give you guys the full picture of what exactly it was. So the request was a video on how you were able to get a buy to let mortgage as a first time buyer. I'm sure you know, but a lot of banks and lenders only provide buy to let mortgages to people who already own a home. So I wanted to know the process of how you were able to get one. Now, that is very true. A lot of lenders will not give you a mortgage as a first time buyer for a buy to let. And that is simply because you appear as a high risk, okay? First of all, you've never earned a home, so they don't know if you'll keep up with mortgage payments. And secondly, you've never been a landlord before, so it's like a double whammy. And that's the reason why a lot of lenders will be hesitant to give a first time buyer a buy to let mortgage. However, although a lot of them may be reluctant to give a first time buyer a buy to let mortgages, there are those that will, and I'm an example. And I'm gonna talk you through basically what I think the top criteria are well there are two main things that will help you to be able to get a buy to let mortgage as a first time buyer but there are a few other things that I feel will be able to boost your you know your application right so in terms of the two main things that I thought are the most important to enable you to be able to get a buy to let mortgage as a first time buyer I feel like the first thing is affordability now when I say that it's the fact that when it comes to buy to let mortgages the main requirement from lenders is that the property is going to generate a certain amount of rental income they'll always ask you you know how much rent do you think the property is going to get and basically that's what they used to determine that you know mortgage payments will be made because obviously the property will be generating enough rent however when it comes to a first-time buyer they're a lot more hesitant and they put in additional requirements now this additional requirement is that they basically want you to be able to afford the property as if it was residential so although it's a buyer to let they want to know that if it was your own residential home you'd be able to keep up with those mortgage payments and how they're going to determine that is simply by looking at your you know your salary in relation to the mortgage that you're asking for so for example it's a lot more likely that somebody that's on a 40k salary will be able to get a you know a mortgage for two hundred thousand pounds versus somebody who's maybe on a 20k salary who may be unlikely to be able to get this mortgage of this amount now although it may sound unfair and it is slightly unfair based on the fact that although you may feel like you're able to afford a certain mortgage lenders are going to be reluctant because it comes back down to this idea of you being a high risk if you've never been a landlord before so what if things go wrong does that mean that they won't be able to get their money back in terms of you know the monthly mortgage payment you're supposed to be making to them also where you've never owned a home before it gives them nothing to refer back to in terms of basically like if you'd be somebody that is able to keep up with mortgage payments each month so these are the two things that are basically working against first-time buyers and as long as you're able to eradicate these things like you should be fine and that's basically the case with me I made sure that when I was looking for a property to buy it was something that I could afford if it was my own residential so they looked at my salary and they were basically able to determine that this person can keep up with their monthly mortgage payments even if there's no rent coming in now the next question is how do you determine if you can afford a property if it were residential or well, simply all you have to do is multiply your annual salary by five so I'll go back to the example of somebody who's on a £40,000 salary if you multiply that by five that will give you £200,000 and so generally £200,000 is the maximum amount of like a mortgage that lenders will generally give a person on that salary so in summary in terms of affordability for a buy to let mortgage for a first time buyer as long as you've determined like reasonably how much you can afford in terms of a residential purchase purchase as long as you've also got your 25% deposit then you should be good there'll be enough lenders out there who would be able to give you a first time buy to let mortgage as long as you've got these requirements covered I also recently came across a buy to let affordability calculator so I've linked that in the description box if you want to refer to that and use that for yourself also now secondly moving on to the next most important thing that I feel that you need to do if you're trying to get a buy to let mortgage as a first time buyer you need to thoroughly thoroughly search the market okay don't just take people's word I've had a lot of people come to me and say oh I've heard that you know first time buyers can't get a buy to let mortgage or I've heard this I've heard that you can't just take hearsay you need to go out there and look for yourself and you need to be on top of it okay you can't just go to one bank or two banks or you know this person or that person you need to literally search the whole market no two people are the same and some people will be a bit more lenient than others some people will be a bit more open-minded than others so in the same way you need to be prepared to approach a number of different mortgage advisors different mortgage brokers to be able to get you that mortgage okay you also want to be using mortgage and sites so I use money supermarket quite a lot when I was looking for a mortgage and it was really helpful like honestly like you just have to exhaust all your options and before you know it, you'll find something I just feel like as long as you're looking for a mortgage that you can reasonably afford in terms of your salary then I think it should be okay sometimes somebody's inability to get a mortgage may literally just be because like you're jumping the gun like you're trying to do too much you need to look at your salary and use that as the basis to determine how much you can afford so maybe you might need to reduce the overall maximum 
value of properties that you're looking at. So maybe you're looking at properties for, you know, £250,000, but actually you may only be able to afford something of, you know, 230, 220. You just need to really look at your personal situation and see how you can help yourself, especially for that first purchase. After you've got the first one, everything else is a breeze, really. Like everybody says it, and it is honestly true. It's just about getting that foot in the door. Okay, so now that we've addressed the two main things that I feel that you need to have in place if you're trying to get a buy to let mortgage as a first time buyer, I want to talk about a few additional things. Now, the first thing is that you want to get a good profitable property. Now, I know I've been speaking a lot about how basically you need to be able to show that you can afford the property as if it was residential, but this does not remove the fact that lenders still want to make sure that that property is going to generate a certain amount of rent each month. This is still a main requirement that they use to determine if a property is worth them giving you a mortgage for. The amount of rent that a property is able to generate is basically how lenders can determine you know if they'll be able to get the money back on a monthly basis in terms of the mortgage payments and usually lenders will ask that a property can generate at least 125 percent of the monthly mortgage payments on a you know interest only basis however rather than just trying to focus on getting 125 percent of the monthly mortgage payments i feel that you should focus on getting a rental yield of five percent i believe that if you get at least five percent rental yield then you'll be able to cover you know your monthly mortgage payments you'll also be able to cover any expenses in the month so if you need to pay for anything for the property and then on top of that you'll still have a decent monthly profit so yes I definitely feel that getting a five percent monthly yield is the best way to go Secondly, you want to be on a salary of at least twenty to twenty-five thousand pounds. Now, I know that I said lenders will generally give you five times what your salary is, but the fact is, a lot of lenders will still not give you a mortgage if your salary is below twenty to twenty-five thousand pounds, and that's basically because they use it as criteria to still determine, you know, affordability. I think they just see it as if your salary is under twenty thousand pounds, then you just won't generally be able to afford it but again i feel like mortgages are a like personal person by person basis thing so still check out your options you know see what you can do try and get a property that you can reasonably afford to pay for on your salary and then just go from there have the conversations with different banks different mortgage brokers and advisors now third and finally if it seems that you know your salary is the thing that still prevents you from being able to get a mortgage then you may need to pair up with somebody so a family member a close friend somebody that you trust basically and get that first property together the benefit of this is that you can share the affordability so they'll be looking at both of your salaries rather than just the one and that should really boost your application for a mortgage and you should be successful so when joining up with somebody to get a mortgage you want to make sure that that person already has a property so they've already got a home for example and they're also so on a good salary. Doing a joint application like this will give lenders more confidence and basically make them feel more at ease to give you a mortgage because they'll feel that at least between the two of you, you'll be able to afford keeping up with the monthly, you know, mortgage payments. So guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you find it useful. If you have done, please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions, please do let me know down in the comments. And also if you have any video requests, you'd like me to talk about anything, please do also let me know in the comments. I love getting subscriber requests because that way I know at least I'm creating the kind of content and videos that you want to see so um, thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do do so and also remember to turn on your bell notifications so um, thank you for watching and i'll catch you later bye